Geographical isolation and speciation. Speciation. So selective pressures lead to genetic changes within a population. But if that population gets split and isolated into two groups, then different selection pressures can lead to development of a new species. And this is known as speciation. And it occurs when populations of the same species become reproductively isolated. And it happens when a physical barrier, like a flood, an earthquake, etc., divides a population, causing some individuals to become separated from the main population. So geographical isolation. Reproductive isolation. So reproductive isolation can happen when a physical barrier, like floods, etc., divide a population of a species, causing some individuals to become separated from the main population. This is known as geographical isolation, and there is no gene flow between the populations, which could lead to allopatric speciation. Alternatively, speciation could also occur when a population becomes reproductively isolated without physical separation, which is known as sympatric speciation. So first of all, we'll look at allopatric speciation caused by geographical isolation. So populations that are geographically separated experience different conditions. So there might be a different climate on each side of the barrier. The populations will experience different selection pressures and so different changes in allele frequencies. Different alleles will become more advantageous in different populations, so natural selection occurs. For instance, if one population is in a colder climate than before, then longer fur length will be beneficial. Directional selection will act on the alleles for fur length, changing the frequency of the allele for longer fur length. Allele frequencies will also change as mutations occur in each population. Changes in allele frequency lead to differences accumulating in the gene pools of separated populations, causing changes in phenotype frequencies. Eventually, the populations will have changed so much that they won't be able to breed to produce fertile offspring, which is reproductively isolated, and the two groups become separate species. So now looking at sympatric speciation. So sympatric speciation can occur when random mutations within a population prevent individuals with the mutation from breeding with others in the population that don't carry the mutation. It doesn't involve geographical isolation. It's generally thought that sympatric speciation is quite rare as it's difficult for a section of a population to become completely reproductively isolated from the rest of the population without being geographically isolated too. So as an example of sympatric speciation, most eukaryotic organisms are diploid. They have two sets of homologous chromosomes in their cells. Sometimes mutations can happen that increase the number of chromosomes. This is known as polyploidy. Individuals with different numbers of chromosomes can't reproduce sexually to give fertile offspring. So, if polyploid organisms emerge in diploid populations, the polyploid organisms will be reproductively isolated from the diploid organisms. If the polyploid organisms then reproduces asexually, a new species could develop. Polyploidy can only lead to speciation speciation if it isn't fatal to the organism and more polyploid organisms can be produced and it's a lot more common in plants than it is in animals. <coughs> Mechanisms of reproductive isolation. Reproductive isolation occurs because changes in alleles, genotypes and phenotypes prevent individuals with these changes from successfully breeding with individuals without them. These changes include, so it could be temporal isolation, behavioral isolation, mechanical isolation, 
So first of all, we'll look at temporal isolation or seasonal changes. So individuals develop different flowering or mating seasons or are sexually active at different times of the year. Therefore, they can't breed together as there's not enough reproductively active at the same time. Mechanical changes. Changes in the size, shape or function of the genitalia can stop successful mating, preventing individuals from breeding. Behavioural changes. A group of individuals may, for example, develop courtship rituals that aren't attractive to the rest of the species, such as a change in song for birds. This stops individuals from breeding with each other, even if they could possibly successfully. Evolution via genetic drift. So selection pressures can change the allele frequencies of a population. This is evolution by natural selection. Evolution also occurs due to genetic drift. This means that instead of environmental factors affecting which individuals survive, breed and pass on their genes, chance dictates which alleles are passed on. Because of this, genetic drift is sometimes called random drift. Individuals within a population show variation in their genotypes. By chance, the allele for one genotype is passed on to more offspring than the others, so the numbers with the allele increases. If by chance the same allele is passed on more often again and again, it can lead to evolution as the allele becomes more common. Genetic drift can lead to differences in allele frequency between two isolated populations. If enough alterations in allele frequency build up over time, this may eventually lead to reproductive isolation and speciation. Genetic drift and population size. Natural selection and genetic drift work alongside each other to drive evolution. However, one process can drive evolution more than the other, depending on the population size. Evolution by genetic drift usually has more of an effect in smaller populations where chance has a greater influence. In larger populations, any chance factors tend to even out across the whole population. The evolution of human blood groups as an example. Varying Native American tribes show different blood group frequencies, like the Blackfoot Indians are mainly blood group A, but the Navajos are mainly group O. Blood group doesn't affect survival or reproduction, so the differences aren't due to evolution by natural selection. In the past, human populations were much smaller and were often found in isolated groups. The blood group differences were due to evolution by genetic drift. By chance, the allele for blood group O was passed on more often in the Navajo tribe, so over time, this blood group became more common. Speciation and diversity. The variety of life on Earth is the result of speciation and evolutionary change over millions of years. To start with, there was one population. The population was divided and the new populations evolved into separate species. The new species were then divided again and the new populations evolved into more separate species. This process has been continual over a long period of time to generate lots of new species. 